I don't expect you to forgive me after this oration and I don't expect you to forget me. I don't expect you to get up, set, and I don't expect you to get mm, hurt. I don't expect you to get confused and I don't expect you to get seduced. Somehow we all have to put on some thinking cups now because we have to go up tonight. Far up to reach the height where we can put on some light. I mean some enlightenment because the sex, sex, I mean the sex term has destroyed a lot of people and we got to do something about it. It's imprisoned the good and spare the bad. They say justice for sale, practice insane, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. The point is you can't keep a good man down. He ain't got no better friend, no worse enemy. They say it has to get worse before it gets better. I say it has always been worse, it never gets better. They say a man is not supposed to cry. I say, so do we have to keep our pain in secret? They say, sit down and wait for your time. Globalization is the current trend. I say, if we sit down and wait for the time, we lose all the fun. As a matter of fact, globalization was invented. In other words, globalization is an organization. They say, everything is in the pipeline. I say, these are the reasons why our taps are not flowing with water. They say, the way the past government calculated our national statistics is not realistic but cosmetic. I say, the way the present government is calculating our statistics is not realistic, but gymnastic. Then they look me in the eye. The European Union, the African Union, and all the unions around the world, and they say, but you have freedom of expression. And I ask them, do we all have freedom after expressions like this? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Food, 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 food. I don't expect you to clown yourselves and collapse the difference and difference between sharing bread and sharing bed. I know that difference. So please give me a break and stop the fake. You know, I know, we all know there is a great deal to this access to food in this world. Not every poor person is hungry, but believe you me, all hungry people are poor. They say a hungry man is an angry man. I say I am not angry. I am hunger. I am not hungry. I am anger. And I'm not dangerous. I am danger. I am an abominable time bomb able to blast brimstones and thunderbolts because somehow I am torn, tried, and tired. Why do we live in a land blessed with so much and yet people are so poor? Why do I live next door and smell bread and yet go to bed hungry at night? These and other questions you all need to answer because when you have a house full of food, it doesn't make you okay because the next person next to you when die, his smell shall come into your house and you can't live anymore. Let's share the love. Let's share humanity. Let's share what makes us one. Because the whole world is united together in everything. Because the earth is the same. Wherever you plant a seed, it will germinate. And this is the love I ask that we share. Can I say a prayer? Then you say, yo, yo. Can I say a prayer? Okay, Germans don't talk too much. Okay, I see. <laughs> Let's try it again. Can I say a prayer? Yo, yo. Can I say a prayer? Yo, yo. Oh, Germans. <laughs> okay. Let's change that. 1884. 1885. Come 
conference was called. Who called this conference? Otu von Bismarck. The cradle of all humanity, the nest that bred posterity, the ground that founded the colors, the blacks, the browns, the pinks, the yellows, and the whites, which today informs one's identity. However, there is great evidence typified by your grand agenda, exposed right here somewhere in the city of Berlin, some 132 years ago. Calculate. Some 132 years ago, thievery and exploitation is the order of the day. When we seek justification, Spencer claimed it was human nature. Henry Berry said, we have as much as possible been able to keep the black man at the level of the beast. If we can extinguish their capacity to see the light, our work will be complete. Rewind. If we can extinguish their capacity to see the light, our work will be complete. Rewind. If we can extinguish their capacity to be enlightened, our work will be complete. Others say the black race cannot be civilized and so must be exterminated completely. Well, you will develop children. Bleed your mother dry in vivid display. But that's okay. As it helps you to keep your profound stature. Having succeeded, you still continue to enslave the motherland. You take advantage of her needs and ignorance, creating synthetic colonial borders to keep her in shackles, disguised in the form of grants and foreign aid, scholarship and fellowship, diplomacy and democracy, modernization and liberalization, and not to mention your iron fist of immigration, from brainwashing to black exploitation. Mind you, many empires have risen and fallen, and that norm won't change. Facts remain that those that persist forever were they that fought the temptation to create for man's history and culture. An everlasting well cannot run dry. Legacies are still so that unlike men, truth don't die. Man will always want to conceal in order to control, but God reveals to redeem. We, the root of this tree we call humanity, cannot fold our hands in despair and cry. We know too well that only the weak seek to find relief in sigh. A developed offspring who preys on his mother is not a predator, but a pest. Unfortunately, the cowards and ignorance of today regard this as a conquest. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not difficult to tell what a scramble was for in those days. But what do we have today? My love has been shared deep down in my soul. I know I can touch you, you can touch me, we can touch each other. But history need not to repeat itself. So you can stretch up your hand, hold my hand, and we can feel the love and share the spirit of humanity because our time is now to let the future know that we can stand together and let everybody lift up his finger in the air and say that life will continue today because love shall share and drown within us. Thank you.